Okay, give me a second. Okay, hello everybody. Um, I'm gonna record this. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do here. Give me just a second. <sighs> Something very interesting just occurred. Um, and so I am going to tell you. Okay, I laid down and I had ringing in my ear. Okay, and so this is kind of telling you what that means and what to do with it as well. So pay attention. Um, no joke, it was a ringing I've never heard. Very deep, very large. Um, and it was, I saw the most beautiful beyond angel. Like this, this thing was larger than life. Very vibrant, very white, but very muscular. Like I could see his muscles and I could see his angel wings, but they weren't like any angel I've ever seen. And I asked who it was. And he told me Prometheus and I'm like, oh gosh, who is that? Again, I didn't have any idea. So I looked him up. Okay. He's a Titan, God of fire. He is known as creation of man. He is the one who was put in charge of creating humankind, according to the writing that I've researched. Um, you guys, he is very magnificent. I had what they call the Jesus effect with him. Like, no joke, this just happened to me. So forgive me for my energy being sporadic. I wrote down his message and I'm going to share it here with you, okay? Prometheus is a god. Um, he was all about the humankind. So he went against Zeus when Zeus ordered sacrificing of animals. Prometheus tricked him, okay? And this is according to, and this is what stuck out, stood out for me. So this is what I believe to be more of the truth. He tricked him in order to help animals and help people and, and to... So basically of the gods, he had empathy. Okay. He, <laughs> he likes that word. He is the, and I'm getting chills like crazy. He is the empathetic God. He is the one who was for the people. He supposedly stole fire and gave it to humankind. He actually told me today that the work that I have done is what's helped save humankind. Okay. Again, we don't know what could have happened. Otherwise we don't know. All I know is major. Okay, it was major. This whole year has been major for every light worker, for myself included. You guys have all witnessed that for those of you who have been on my channel for a while. If you're new watching this, I encourage you to watch all my other videos, then come back to this one. Um, but I was blown away. Okay, I'm like, oh my gosh, first of all, Prometheus is real. So this is kind of what I saw. His chest was like that, you guys, except for imagine these most beautiful, magnificent wings. And he was white like that, like almost pasty. Uh, and this is what I just saw. This is very accurate, minus the face a little bit. Okay, I would, I would change the details of the face a little bit. Very handsome God. Um, and again, it took my breath away. Okay, and he has a message, plus I saw him do something I'm going to share with you. This is nuts. I didn't expect this. This is very out of the blue, um, and I get to introduce to you all Prometheus, the god of humankind is what I'm going to call him. He is an empathetic god. He was kind of shunned because of that, um, and that's okay, right? They've changed that perception, I'm sure, and this is why certain angels when they work with us have to back off because they can't change the outcome because living in earth was hard. Like we would have to go through trials and tribulations that they would want to step in for and they couldn't. Okay. And so he is, he is a very much so an empathetic God. Okay. Um, so he played an essential part during the war between the Titans and the Olympians, even though himself a Titan Together with his brother Epimetheus, he sided with Zeus and escaped the brutal punishments that his other two siblings, Atlas and Minoidius, received after the old order of gods was eventually defeated. Okay, so I don't, I don't know all of that. I don't really care to know all of that, but I can tell you what I feel and what he's showing me as the empathetic god. And apparently, I mean, he was for humankind, and I guess he didn't have to suffer um, I heard Atlas, so that guy who I no longer talk to was talking about Atlas and how he held the world on his shoulders. And people have said that to me, like I carry the weight of the world on my shoulders for a reason, you guys. If I didn't meet my marks, I don't know where we would have been. 
not to mention the work I did was crazy and scary and I didn't understand it all either. <sighs> okay, <laughs> so this is a lot really fast. Um, and I'm not doing it live because I don't want people to think that, you know, like this is informational. He wanted me to bring this forth. Okay. And so interesting enough, he just came into my space. I literally lay down to try to take a nap. I did a session earlier. I'm getting ready to start my job Monday. And I got really tired all of a sudden, like really tired. And so I laid down and I took a deep, it was like the most comforting feeling all of a sudden. And I said, thank you, God, for this moment in time of relaxation. So I just ate a beautiful lunch and that's what I did, no joke. And then I heard the ringing in my ear like I've never heard. And I tuned in and I said, who is this? And I felt the God realm, like it was just a different energy. And then Prometheus, well, he popped into my space. I saw his very pasty muscles <laughs> and very beautiful wings. He has wings. Um, and then he said Prometheus. And so of course I looked him up and certain things stood out to me. So that's what I go with, okay? It, he may be a God of war. He was very critical in that, right? He was kind of for the people. He didn't like suffering. He is the God, great wisdom and kindness, okay? Um, he is known as a great hero of individual of great wisdom and kindness. He stole fire from gods and brought it to the mankind. He was eventually freed because of this. So he went against what was happening with his own species, the gods, um, who were, you know, very much so hardcore. Like, I don't think they had any empathy or care for mankind, but Prometheus did. Okay, so for whatever reason, he wants this to be known. Um, so I'm just reading some of this. Uh uh okay you guys so for those of you who know tomorrow is my dna activation okay so it's no coincidence i just saw this so let me read this on prehistoric earth a humanoid alien stands above a waterfall as a hovering spark okay the alien and just a dark liquid um okay Oh, that's interesting. I'm not sure what all this is saying. It's other than about alien DNA, okay, and it triggers a biogenetic reaction, okay, and so I was kind of asking earlier, what are we doing for the workshop for tomorrow? I did hear possibly going back to Fiji to um, activate the DNA of the earth, and of course, of ourselves, um, and also the God energy is what they're telling me, okay? So it's no coincidence, this is coming up today, and he's coming with a message forward. However, this is not just for my workshop, like I got an urge to post it here for YouTube, okay? Um, and so they have discovered ancient star maps that are common to several unconnected extinct human cultures. Okay, and I've told you guys before, they told me that I'm turning back the hands of time. Um, and again, I've told you this is bigger than us. I never know exactly what's coming until I do my workshops. They only give me bits and pieces all together. Um, uh, this is very interesting. So there's other stuff that goes into not God stuff. Um, but as far as what he looks like, add wings onto this in the chest and you've got close to Prometheus from what I see. Um, you guys, I'm still in awe. Like I'm still like my breath is still like. <sighs> um, now remember some of the information brought forth, we don't, we don't know how accurate it is, but I'm giving you what he is making stick out to me. So as far as uh, empathetic God and he earned his place um, above the others because of that, right? So he stepped out against what was going on in the norm. And this is part of his message because I'm definitely feeling chills with that one. So he stepped out against the others, right? And, and all by himself. And I'm sure his everybody was telling him he's messing up. And that's how I feel. And, you know, so he went against the norm and he fought for humankind. 
which he told me that I've helped by doing this work, we've helped save, okay? I don't, if you don't believe that, that's fine with me, but I'm telling you, and I cried and I cried, okay? And then I wrote down his message, okay? And so again, I get channeled messages, all right? So I will read it to you now. <clears throat> Here, let's see what this statue looks like. Can I see the statue, please? Why can I not? They won't let me. I want a better picture than all this. And that's from Wikipedia. Let's try this one. I mean, no, that's not accurate either. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Give me just a second because I just want a picture that's much better to look at. Um, and this one's not quite accurate either. But look at that. Like he says this one is good, but I want wings. Why are they not showing wings? He said that's an after effect, anyways. It doesn't matter. So he's still very much so in my energy. He's still very much so with me. Um, kind of like this. Okay. All right, so it is similar, okay? So we'll just go with that. The, he says the face is not so unattractive. <laughs> take, take that from him and then add the wings, okay? And you've got an accurate description of, for me. That, like I seriously saw his muscles He and I don't normally see that right away. Michael presents just as big as he does, okay? But uh, he's a God, all right? So Prometheus. Here's his message, and I will tell you what I saw as he was giving me the message, okay? He showed me Earth as a ball, and it's like this round ball, and he twisted the top half, and he set it down and anchored it in, okay? And as he was doing that, like twisting the Earth in two halves is what I just saw. As he was doing that, twisting half the Earth and anchoring it in, he said this, transformation is abound. Every human changing from the original creation of time. It's beautiful at best. And it took my breath away. That's my words. It took my breath away. Do not ever feel unease or unrest. This isn't just for me. This is for everybody. Perfection is a word to now be undone. A change of time, a change of place and pace. They both, I wasn't, it was kind of both of those. A change of time, a change of place and pace. Energies aligned for removal of haste. Okay. Now that's what he did. And that's the message. What this means for the earth, I don't know. I feel like he brought it for me to share with all of you. Okay. I think this is relating in, in steps to preparation for my workshop tomorrow but I think this is for everybody. Okay, and I'm getting chills as I say, say that. So whatever this is, I'm gonna read it one more time. This is Prometheus's message as he was rotating the earth in two and anchoring it in, like settling it down. So it was like rotation, boom, settle down. Transformation is abound, every human changing from the original creation of time. It's beautiful at best. Do not ever feel unease or unrest. Perfection is a word to now be undone, a change of time, a change of place or pace. Energies aligned for removal of haste. Okay? So that is Prometheus's message and his doing just now. I don't exactly know what he did to the earth. He rotated it and put it down. I didn't do it this time, he did. But he's showing me, he did it with me by him, like as I was just tuning into the noise and listening to what he had to say. I'm in awe and it remains to see, be seen. Um, and if you notice, there's some, some alien pictures here. I think there's maybe an, uh, maybe a movie pertaining. Okay, so yeah. 
I don't know about all of that, but again, what he presents to me is this large, he's larger than this. So it's like larger than this, very large, muscular, white. The pasty is accurate. That's what he showed me. It's almost like, like fur in a way. Um, and then he has wings that are massively large. Okay. I've never met him, never heard of him before, ever. Um, but that's what's up. And that's what he brought forth. And I read the message twice. Um, and so I am giving it to all of you, just as I'm supposed to do. So I now welcome into my space, Prometheus, the god of Titan, the god of war, the god of humankind. He is the god of humankind. He, he is the one of pure empathy for life. And I want to cry when I see that. Like he risked everything that he was for humankind. And that's how he's making me feel. So it's beautiful. And welcome to the energy of Prometheus and whatever he just did coming forward. Um, he's telling me to pull a card. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card from the Starseed Oracle. As far as a message to go with his other message, he wants one of these. And this is from Prometheus. All of this was from Prometheus. I call him the God of humankind. I don't like the God of war. He is the God of humankind and that's how he makes me feel. Okay, um, and what did I say for removal of haste? Okay, and he had me pull a card, lifting the veil. And I've never really pulled this card. It says lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. Okay, anything unaligned must go. And he says for removal of haste. Okay, um, so what this does remains to be seen, um, but just know that I'm introducing you to him and what he has done. Okay, so much love to all of you. Keep your eyes and energy peeled. And what did he say? He's wanting me to remember, mind you, do not ever feel unease or unrest. It's beautiful at best. Okay, so much love and I will see you soon.